Okay, so the first video just gave a real fast uh, 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 run through of some basic things. Now let's get in some de into some detail and some options as we play with this. All right, so we talked about the status relationship. Oh, okay, so let's talk about the rule of three. One of the big things that this piece teaches is the rule of three. It's used twice in just what I showed you. Let's talk about it. So you've got your two characters, right? And you'll notice that this stay here, don't move, follow and pull back happens once. Stay here, don't move, follow, pull back happens twice. The third time, it changes. It changes in two ways. We have the little look backs, and then we have the staying behind, and the Auguste character, or the number two character, pulling themselves back by themselves. Right? in contrast to uh, the way the number one had been pulling them the first two times. So the rule of three. People say to me all the time, and I have very smart people, very funny people say, oh, it's funny when you do things in threes. That's not the rule of three as it was taught to me. The rule of three as it was taught to me has to do with su surprise, right? So in a joke structure, you have a, a setup which sets up this idea and uh, that le misdirects, leads away from a punchline. The punchline is surprise that happens at the end. So the rule of three is the most compact number of times you need to establish a pattern and break the pattern. Because when you establish a pattern, you have expectations. Expectations come with that, right? So if you do it once, you've just done it once. If you do it twice the same way, <gasps> there's a pattern and now the audience has expectations. When you break those expectations, when you shatter them by doing something funny, not just shattering it, it has to be funny, then and only then are you making use of the rule of three. Now, you can then do it a fourth time and change it again and still get comedic value out of it. You can set it up 17 times and then change it. It's just that the rule of three is compact. That's all, it's just compact. So the rule of three is do it twice and then change it on the third time. That's the rule of three. As my good friend Joel Kabik said, you can get laughs in threes and fours and sevens and twelves as long as you're funny. All right? So it's not just doing it three times that makes it funny. Um, so it's used twice in this piece. It's used in the overall structure, but it's used at the end too, right? So in the third time through, the number one character takes one or two steps and whips back to check. And this character, Angel, hasn't moved. Maybe this character is uh, lifting up a leg to take a step. I was going to lift up my own leg, but I don't have shoes on. <laughs> you don't want to see my socks. Uh, so, uh, uh, right, so you get one, two, huh, and then the third time, three. Look at that. Rule of three. It's used again. You can use it more times, right? You can use it more times because the, inter the, the, the joy in this the joy in this is the interaction between these two characters in these moments where they're connecting. Where they're connecting. So over here, at the beginning of the piece, right, you can do this textually, or you can do it just physically, without text. Absolutely. So, the key words, if you're going to use words, you, stay here, don't move. Stay here, stay here. Don't move. Don't move. Repeating simple language is key, and it makes it feel like it's this old style. If you're going to do a classic style circus or comedia uh, or, 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 or clown work, even vaudeville work or burlesque work, right? These are rowdy audiences. These are not, there is no amplification. There's no, you know, E6, Countryman E6 microphone on you. Okay? You're not in acoustically sound venues. So, if there's key information, if there's exposition, information that the audience needs, you need to repeat it. You know, magic flower, magic flower, magic flower. From a distant forest, distant forest, distant forest, <laughs> distant forest. You've now established what the audience needs to know. Same thing with stay here, don't move. You can do that perfectly well without using any language, verbal language at all. 
what are the games that you can find here? Because there's so many, so many. You can put another rule of three in here, right? If I'm wagging my finger, if I'm the high status character, if I'm the number one, and I was often the number one when doing this, and I've done this with lots of different clowns, right? If I'm wagging my finger at my number two, and my number two decides to try and take a bite out of my finger, ah, and I pull away. That's once. I go back to it. I try again. Boom. The third time, I wag my finger. I don't know. How do you want to change it out? I wag my finger. They fake it. I pull my hand away. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. And as soon as I put my finger back, chomp. You know, something like that. Or um, we just change the timing, right? Uh, wag, wag, wag. Ouch. Wag, wag, wag. Ouch. Ouch. Wag, wag, ah, got me. Something simple. But use that rule of three and be silly. Um, mocking. Oh, my gosh. Mocking. Okay. Oh, oh, you know, even better, even better, even better, even better, even better. Let's start with this. Why does the number two follow the number one? Why does the number two follow the number one? Why do they do it? Why do they do it? That's the biggest question that I'm asked when I teach this. People start to do it, and then they say, wait, 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 what, why, why, am I, why am I following this character? Why, why, why are they following me? Why, why do I follow them? What's going on? Whew. Well, gosh, there's so many, so many things we can talk about here. Number one, maybe, maybe it's just simple not understanding. It's clown brain, right? If you tell the clown, stay here, right, stay here, and then you start walking, right? Eric Idle did this so beautifully in a couple different Python sketches, you know? Um, so just this completely agreeable, just vapid, right? Oh, stay here, stay here, yes, yes, I'm gonna stay here, yes, yes. Where are you going? I'm coming with you. No, 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 I need you to stay here. That, that's where it was. It was in um, Monty Python and the, the Holy Grail, all right, uh, uh, in, the, in the castle tower. Uh, well, we're coming with you. It's this, it's this bit. They're just dabbing. Or, or you can make the positive choice, which is, but I just love my number one, you know? There is something about these characters being bonded forever. So make a positive choice. There's a great metaphor a great metaphor for comedy, which in, and in a drama, if you need to smash a plate in a drama or in a tragedy, you take that plate and you smash it down on the table. You throw it down to the floor. That's how you act in a drama, metaphorically. In a comedy, if you need to break a plate, you toss the plate up. You toss it up. And if you can use this as a metaphor, make light choices, right? Don't make the I'm going to pull out a weapon and harm you choice, e even in slapstick. It's, if you make those heavy choices, the, the weight of the piece, get, it, it gets weighted down by that. It's not funny anymore. So toss the plate up. Why am I following? Why are you following me? I love you. That can be funny. can absolutely be funny. So embrace the absurdity of it, right? Why am I following? Because I don't understand. You just think that's where I belong, right? It, it's loyal like a dog. You know, my dog, who's not with me right now, uh, is always under my feet. Always, always, always under my feet. Why is my dog under my feet? Because that's where he wants to be. So why follow? That's where you want to be. All right. Let's talk about this moment. Oh, this is a good moment. All right. Um, I think I'm going to talk about this moment in the third video because otherwise they'll just take too long to upload. But hopefully I can be done with this in three videos and I'll make all the points I want to make tonight. Maybe four. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Thank you.